Good evening, everybody. Yeah, please come forward. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, so, let us start our lecture tonight. And then tonight, what is what is what is what is, what is okay? You know, now we are at the core part of object oriented programming principles. Okay. So tonight I like everybody to give attention. Please give attention to my every words, every sentence and every word. Okay, give attention. If you do not understand, raise your hand. You will get some understand about some quiz questions from tonight. And most of the thing, if you understand tonight's lecture, you will understand at least 50 percent, 50 percent of object oriented programming principles. 50 percent of object oriented programming basic principles tonight, okay. You will have enough time to do other activities, just give me an hour, okay. But how was your test one? Okay. Yeah, please come forward, no. Okay, so uh, how many of you wrote a pseudocode? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. I intentionally asked my online section to write pseudocode instead of writing actual code so that they cannot copy and paste code from somewhere. Okay. But uh, for you who wrote, wrote pseudocode, there is bad news. From next test, you cannot write pseudocode. So please change your habit to write actual code. And the good news is that if you change your habit to write actual program code without looking, okay, even you do some mistake, that's fine. Then you will be good that you will be learning something. You will pass in this course. Okay. So from test two and afterward, we will not allow you to write write pseudocode. The reason is simple that you need to be prepared. You need to pass in this course. Not only pass. You need to learn something, right? You need to learn something. So, and what? So then, how do you learn this course? So, whatever I will discuss tonight and the next lecture, give hundred percent attention, please. And then you do practice. Not only the program I practice here, try make similar program, similar problem, and practice. Can you please pull, open your hair, hair bar? Yeah, do not put put your but air but on your head. Okay. So we will discuss tonight uh, abstraction, abstraction. But we will, I will also will review object oriented programming principle from beginning. I want to review. Okay. So let us start. Okay. By the way, this was a like a test question, right? I discuss this as a to do activity, right? Okay. But still, I didn't. I'm not grading this one, but still, I I saw that some people you mistake this one. We did not understand what is the effect of the. What is this one? Tab, tab right? New tab, and this is new line, right? So the ln means new line over here, right? Okay. Okay, so what are our slides tonight? Tonight's slides is inheritance. What is that one? Is this the one? Hmm. No, this is class design, not this one. Okay, maybe this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got lost. So, downloads.
Okay. So inheritance. In our next lecture, we were discussing inheritance, right? So what is inheritance? What is inheritance? Yes. Okay, is it, I'm asking straight forward. Is it a class or a method or a technique? What do you say? Inheritance is a class? Okay, I, that is not correct, but still I, I think many of you do this mistake. In the past I saw, I discussed that inheritance is a technique, process. It is not a method, it is not a class, it is a way or technique, okay? or a process, you understand? Inheritance is a technique or process by which one class achieves properties from an existing class, okay? How do we inherit property, maybe financial property or our characteristic property from our parents? It is God gifted, right? We don't know how a, our, we inherit properties like biological properties through chromosome. Okay, maybe scientists, biological scientists, they know. But we know we also uh, inherit pro financial property from our parents, right? Yes, I have a question. Yes, yes, oh. the literal word of inheritance is a process. Inheritance allows a new class to absorb an existing class member. So what do we understand from this abstract sentence? So it is a class, it allows us, it do something, right? That means it's a process or technique, right? <coughs> okay, so what is, my, what is uh, the process of inheritance? Inheriting or Inheriting some properties, that means transmitting some property from one existing class to another class. Like if you have a candle, light one on a candle, right? If you light one another candle, then you get uh, light from there, right? The old candle's light does not reduce, right? As many candles you fire up. So inheritance is a process that through who is an existing class, okay, a new class actually that is called child class or derived class inherits or achieves some properties from an existing class or an old class or a, or a parent class, right? We discussed this in our last lecture. So we discussed this, that there is a class that is called object class, that is the great, 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 greatest parent class, right? In our program, in most of the languages have this object class, like in Java we write object class, O is in uppercase, and in, in uh, C sharp we write object, O is in lowercase, and uh, also in uppercase, whatever you write. There is a question like this, right, in your test. So the way to do a an correct answer is this, this program is that I discussed with the live program, right? So if you understand what is private property, what is static, how static member are accessed, how public mem protect, uh, private member access, if you understand then, then this question is easy. How do you go? We should go. So the car C is in this is class name, right? A class name can access only static, static property. So is model static? No. So model is not static. So this statement was incorrect. Okay. So this is object, right? And this is setter method, and then a setter method set bin number. So set bin number was a public, and then it was good. So this number set model, do we have set model? Do we have set model? No, we, do not. we do not have set model, right? <laughs> so it was not correct. 
so make c1 make make is our static property right so although it is not giving error message that is a warning message this is not correct statement in 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 c sharp it will show you an error but this is the correct statement because make was static right okay and then class was class and then set bin okay we cannot call set bin this way and get bin we did have get bin right we have get bin it returns bin so the only way to do to understand this is just practice programming so from the upcoming test if you do not practice you will not pass and if you practice your life will be easy okay you don't need to read too many books or something just practice programming then you will understand and this is a car detail method direct call right a direct call can be done only if a method is static and within class so this car detail is what is car detail is not within class this is in car class but not is in main class car main so it will not be accessible okay so in our last lecture we are discussing can anyone remember what we are discussing car package right okay we are discussing that this car class inherits properties from vehicle class right so here vehicle class is my parent class right in in java in c sharp format we just use this colon sign c sharp and c plus plus okay and this car class is my inherited class or child class right and let us go to if you hold on tab by my command button in mac or control in windows then click over here you see that open decoration and open implementation if i click over here either one it will take me to that vehicle class so vehicle class is in defined within package one car underscore package one so this is my car underscore package one okay kajal i like you to give attention please okay here my vehicle class right is my base class right my parent class okay so we discuss that even a class does not inherit anything it by default inherits which class okay extends object right by default right so we discuss that this object class is the great great greatest parent class that has some built-in methods or properties we use frequently in our program yes is it called object both in java and in c sharp in c sharp we can write both we usually write c is in o is in lower case okay. but we can write both upper and lower case c sharp it is lower case o yeah i, I give an example that in that in some religions people believe that god created only one pair of couple right adam and eve right and we all are the children of this that parent right so this object class is that uh, that parent our okay great great greatest parent okay so the object class is the our greatest greatest parent this is built in within java.lang object lamp package since it is the, from beginning java version 1 it is okay so i will show you so if i go to the car main class so if i say whatever object i do have if i say c1 dot if i get dot you see that there are something coming from object class right yes. so these are the defined on object class we can use this directly sometime we can modify this some of these methods okay at least this so by looking this what is this one make class is a make is a property 
okay that is defined in string class uh, sorry car class and uh, that is a string string type right and what is this one v type is a string type and defined in which class vehicle class okay so you understand this right so what is this get this is a method right how do i know that this is a method it has a parenthesis right it is a pair of parenthesis right so then and then it is returns type is a string and it is defined in car class so get v detail is a method that is defined in vehicle class and that returns a string type right so if you understand this then so last one get yard is a method that is defined in car class and that returns an integer type value understand this okay so now <coughs> so so far we discussed that an inheritance okay uh, another thing that i i did not discuss let me make finish that one this slide. okay so protected property right so we we know that there is public private protected and default right okay so access modifiers these are called access modifiers so these are protected this is private and this is public and if you do not use anything then there is default for instance this is default C sharp does not allow default, okay? You have to explicitly write access modifier in C sharp. Okay, so we know that if a member is private, then that is accessible only within class. This ER will be accessible only by a method of this class, not from outside, right? If a member is public, then it can be accessed, like for instance here, this class this car class is defined my car package one so it is accessible within this package or anywhere from this this is the, uh, my project or any any other package from this package and and also from outside any other program that use my this project can also able to change or update this make access this make okay so public having something public is dangerous but something useful if you want to publicize yourself then you put something here whatever it is good for you as a public thing right but if you want to keep something secret make it private right if it is default then it is accessible within the package then we have discussed public, private, default, right? Then another thing is that left we have protected. Protected is in between private and public. So what is in between private and public? In last lecture I told you that we have some friends and family, right? Maybe our cousins, our relatives, right? So that in general I can inherit some property from my parent, right? But my cousin cannot inherit property from my parent, right? So, for instance, here this this class vehicle class is in it has vehicle type as a protected, right? Where it is defined? It is defined in my in my car package one. But if I move it to my another package, for instance, car package two. This is my, for instance, you say, this is my cousin family or my friend family or relative, right, okay. So here, my vehicle, then if I say extend vehicle, then the other way that only we can import, we need to import this vehicle. If we import this, then this is accessible. Okay, but if we do not import it, we cannot use it. Actually, this if you import, then it will come here. 
import means copy nothing okay but unless you import this this vehicle class is defined within another package okay so here this okay actually what it did it asked me to do something i had actually this one protected protected okay i did not have this so if i have this so here vehicle is not accessible what is the reason vehicle is protected and it is defined in my another package that is my another family my cousin family okay or my my friend family or my neighbor family okay my neighbor or my my cousin or my relative no matter how close they are okay they cannot access my parent property right so you understand now protected protected means if it is protected then only who can access with the same family so here this protected so if it is within this car on package then it will be accessible you see there here then it is accessible when i bring it move it to my same package that means same family right then it is accessible but if it is go, it goes to other package in other family then it is not accessible so now we understand this one this is a subclass of another package cannot access a subclass <coughs> class or subclass of another package cannot access a protected property okay the difference between you see that diff, uh, that default or main and public then only one thing difference over here okay so this is subclass or class of another package cannot access a pro protected property you can remember that a protected member is like a relative family okay So public member everywhere it can be accessed by everywhere. So you see public, it can be accessed everywhere. Okay, and the private only accessible in the same class, right? right. So you understand public and private clear, right? Yeah. So then in between we have default. Default is only in Java. Okay, C sharp does not have default. Okay, if it is default, then it is same class and then subclass of same package, another class of the same package. Okay okay and if it is protected then it is in between default and public it is likely one most everything public but little bit different little bit different is that is if it is within family then good okay so then uh, if this it goes outside my family it cannot access for instance here okay if i I inherit property from my parents, right? Then my, how about my brother, my own brother and sister? Do they inherit property from my parents? Yes, right? We're same family, right? Okay. But my cousin cannot inherit property from my parents, right? So if you understand this, now do some practice, please. Okay, now I have to I have to move. <sighs> okay, from here. So whatever we learn that inheritance is a process that is a good process, okay, there is a lot of advantages that it, it mainly allows us to reuse a class, right? The reusability is an ad advanced feature of object oriented programming and inheritance allows us to do reusability, okay? Okay, so from our last lecture um, until now, we got some advantages of inheritance, right? So far we got some advantages of in inheritance. Now, do you think that there are some limitations of inheritance? Often, yes. Okay. 
Let us think, what are the limitations of inheritors? So far you think of. Okay. Think about the limitations of, we want to, actually we want to move to our next topic. Next topic is abstraction, okay? And we start from the limitation of inheritance. Although we knew that inheritance is a good technique, right? That allows us to extend to extend a base a class by an, another class. Okay, so through inheritance, we can do what we can do. We can extend the what is the functionality of base class by overriding method overriding. We discussed method, method overriding right in the last class, and method overloading right. Method overloading means same ma name, same method, same name, but different type or different number of arguments right. So method overloading happens within class right. Method overloading happens within class. Okay, and the another thing is method overriding, right? We overrode the two string method, right? In order to display, in order to display our object, right? Two string method, we overrode the two string method. So this is car class, this has, this is overridden, right? This has no argument, this has three arguments and this has two arguments, right? This is overloading or overriding? Overloading, overloading happens within class. But overriding happens outside in a different class, right? So we are overriding over here, that means rewriting. Two string class is originally defined in the object class. But we are rewriting this. You see that runs a string representation of object. Somewhere it will say that it is defined within object class. Two string method is defined within object class. But we are rewriting is, that means overwriting is in my own class. So this is overriding, okay. Overriding happens between two classes. But overloading happens within a single class. In case of overload, overriding, we have exactly same signature of a method. This is the signature, okay. And in for overloading, we have different signature of our method. This is an interview question, okay? So we understand that. So okay, so what we are discussing, what are the limitations of inheritance? Can anyone, did you think anything that any limitation of, of inheritance? Let me. limitations of we did not recall any inheritance any limitation no one uh, you can only inherit one class. yes it does not allowed okay so no Multi, multiple base classes, right? We discussed that although older languages C++ allows to have multiple base classes, but new programming languages like Java and C Sharp do not allow to have multiple base classes. Like in our real life, we cannot have multiple fathers, biological fathers. We cannot have more than one biological mother, right? A child cannot have two mothers, right? Only one mother, only one father, right? All the older languages like C++ allow to have multiple inheritance, that is called multiple base classes, that was a problem. And so more, so modern programming languages actually, like Java and C Sharp, that prohibited uh, to having multiple parents, okay? But, so then how do, this is a limitation, right? So 
So there is a way in, but if needed, sometimes we, we have multiple fathers. Like my father, my what is called foster father, my father-in-law, right? We have multiple fathers, right? We may have multiple mothers, right? But not biological father, biological mother, but any other kind of mothers. Okay, so we will, when we learn interface, this can be resolved, this problem can be resolved by interface. We will learn this in our next lecture, okay? Be ready and do not miss le le next lecture, please. Okay, then what is the next limitation? Nothing you remember? One thing is that through the definition of inheritance, we told that through inheritance, a base class inherit property from a, sorry, a child class inherit property from a base class, right? But its opposite is not possible, right? Yes. Okay, a parent class, parent class, cannot properties from a base class, right? That is, this is a limitation, right? In a real life, we do not need it. Okay, we need to take care of our, our parents, but we need, our parents do not need to inherit our property, right? In our real life, so this is fine. So this is not a problem at all, actually. This is not a problem. So let me put it in the top. This is not a problem. But do you think think is there another disadvantage or limitation? Um, the, depending on what, um, depending on what type the data is, uh, can you give me an example? Math may be a limitation, but I don't know that. What is that one? No, if, if my father does not have a house, I cannot inherit house, right? If my father does not have a car, I cannot inherit the car. That is, in real, that is not contradictory to real life. Okay, another limitation that the paper I recall. Okay, inheritance does not ensure, okay, yeah. Uh, well, is it inheritance if it takes all the properties? What if you didn't want Inheritance does okay. not so ensure the base class to use the inherited Okay, that is an important thing. Inheritance does not ensure that the base class, okay, ensure the base class to use the inherited properties. Okay, let me do an activity, quick activity. How many of you have a little brother or sister or a any relative that you like very much, you care of, you have, right? Okay. Who else? You have? Who else? You do? Who else? Have you, you don't have? Okay, you don't have any brother, sister, or relative that you care of, you take care of, you love very much? No? Okay. Care of, what is your name? What is your name? Hmm? What is Kelly? J E. J A D. Oh, J. Okay. So she uh, she has maybe a brother or sister. Okay. She likes very much. Okay. But think about answering. Okay. So if your brother or sister asks you for money, 
every day he or she goes to school before that if she ask you money give me some money if you give her him or her some money even a single penny okay what do you want what do you want uh, him or her with that money spend it. yes to spend it right but how about if he or she does not spend it then if you give a penny to your brother or sister today and he or she just let it keep it, keep it here okay and again next time he's asking money give me money you are giving again and next day he, you know, he's asking you are giving again so ultimately at a certain time you will ask you have you will ask that i gave you some money yesterday what what did you do he said no i did not do anything with that money so at a certain time you will get mad right you will say well <laughs> i'm giving you money every day but you are not using my money but you are asking money again and again and again right so in general in our real life we don't like that right we don't like that what do we like that if i give some money someone no matter how beloved that child is you will ensure that he or she is using that money for good purpose at least right or at least any purpose so that until he or she uses that money he will not ask that money he will ask the same money again so inheritance so whatever so far we discuss in our program that like that our car class it inherited property from vehicle class right so which property it inherited at least it inherited the vehicle type for instance maybe for now let me make it public so we discuss protected so it inherits the v type property right so but we want to ensure that to ensure that the car class will use that property right but our normal inheritance does not ensure that whatever property is being inherited is not used right so it is a limitation in order to resolve that limitation in order to ensure that Jade is giving money to his beloved brother or sister, he, your brother or sister, you will, will use that money, right? You want to ensure that, right? If she uses, if he uses in good purpose, you will be happy, right? Maybe if he throws that out, you will not be happy, right? So that, you know, so everybody, so we agree that no matter how love we are, we love our like children or anyone we give away some property we want to ensure that that will be utilized properly right so but our inheritance this kind of inheritance does not ensure that okay so there is a limitation so this limitation can be resolved resolved by abstract class okay so an abstract class will ensure that if you inherit some property from an abstract class you must use that property you must utilize that property okay so this is our topic for um, this lecture so abstract class an interface although i have a few minutes but if you give attention next 20 minutes you will understand this okay because i have wrapped up with the prerequisite knowledge okay yes you have a question
Okay, in method also is a property. Method also is a property, although it's called functional unity. That's a good question, okay? So only property, only method. Only method. I'm coming there. So if you op go to if open this slide, so from the beginning you will see abstract class and interface, and tonight we want to cover this abstraction, okay? Abstract class. Okay. So I'm good, I'm lucky that I got we are doing same thing, okay? So we are a car we have a car class. So my, we, have, we have seen that we have our vehicle class and we have car class and bus class. So we have car class al already and we have vehicle class, right? This vehicle class is our parent class, right? Okay. So now let us go to my vehicle class. So my vehicle class is, is a plain class, normal class. So for instance, if I have a method that I want to ensure that whoever inherits this vehicle class must implement or use that method. Okay, if I want to make that guarantee that I will use abstract keyword, abstract public mm -mm -mm. Okay, I, I already have a uh, engine type. Okay, so let us make it abstract. Okay, so if I make this engine, uh, this engine type as an abstract method, previously it was non abstract. So then my program was good, right? There is no error message. You see that there is no error message. If there is an error message, that it will show a cross. Okay, but I want to make this an abstract class, so the class this, so that actually this is a greedy, this class is greedy. It will ensure that it will, what it wants to do, whoever inherits this vehicle class must implement this engine type method. Okay, so if a method, so then as soon as I make, everybody give attention please. Can you please turn off your, uh, your phone for the next 15 minutes? Yeah, please, everybody please give attention for the next 15 minutes. You will get a question at least 40, 40 points from this 20 minutes, next 20 minutes, okay? In your next test and also in the final. You will get at least 20 percent point. And if you do not understand this, you will not pass in this course. Okay, so whenever I make this, I made this class, this method abstract, then it is showing me an error message, right? There are two or three errors over here. One of the thing that when you say an, a method is abstract, you cannot have a body. So this is our body or implementation, okay? You cannot have this implementation. Okay, that means an abstract method cannot have any implementation. Okay, I cannot have this implementation. Okay, so that is, and I have to make it end by semicolon. One problem is solved, okay. What is that? First rule is that an abstract method cannot have an implementation or cannot have a body. You already remember this one? We got one rule, okay? Second rule is that when a class contains at least one abstract method, the class must be declared as an abstract class. So this is giving me an error, right? So this class must be declared an abstract class. So the error is gone, right? There are two errors over here. So what are the two rules we learned so far? Okay, an abstract method cannot have an implementation. 
even not an MT implementation. You cannot have this even. And I'm sure that many of you, some of you, at least some of you do, do this mistake. So, okay, how many of you will not do this mistake? Raise your hand, please. Okay, at least there were 60 people here. I like this 60 people at least will not do this method. Okay, so this is not allowed, right? What is this not allowed? An abstract class method cannot have an implementation. Number one, right? Even an empty implementation. Okay, I told this again and again in last semester. St some students did still mistake and then I deduct points and then still they bargain. Okay, they said, oh, I did not give an implementation, just empty. I told that empty implementation is not even accepted. Okay, so I I wish, yeah, you will not do that mistake. Yes. Yeah, this is a good question. Okay, wait one more minute for me. Okay, then I got fast going. Okay, and then another is thing is that if a class is abstract, if a class contains at least one abstract method then the class must be declared as an abstract class, okay? We got two, right? But it, it vice versa is not needed. For instance, if a class is an abstract class, then even I can, cannot have any abstract method. It is not required that I will have, I need this cl class to have any abstract method. Even so, if this method is not abstract, then what do I need to do? It must need a body, right? Yes. If it is not abstract, then it is. it needs a body. This is a body even. It is an empty body. Okay, so if a method is not in non-abstract, then it must contain an implementation, right? And if it is abstract, then it cannot contain any implementation. You understand? We got three points, yes. Yes. If we make a method abstract in a class, in an abstract class, then call upon it in a, and do not call upon it in a subclass, will it give That is a hard question. So I wait one more minute, okay? Do you see the same question? Yes. Does it matter if you put abstract public or public abstract? Okay, okay. let us see. I think some languages allow, some languages, maybe some languages allow, some languages do not allow. I'm not sure for C++, T-shirt. <coughs> yes. So is an abstract class have to have an abstract method? Sorry? Is an abstract class have to have an abstract No. I said no, right? A minute ago, I, so I showed you an abstract class. So this class is abstract class. It is not necessary to have an abstract method. But is, is vice versa is yes. that if a method is abstract, the class must be abstract. Okay, so this is why an abstract class is, is zero to hundred percent abstract. Abstract means bare end. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, if it uh, if a an animal uh, does not give a child, that is called bare end, right? It cannot go so develop. So, so you got your answer, right? So, if an, uh, uh, this is why I would say that an abstract class, this is an interview question. An abstract class is 0 to 100 percent abstract. 0 percent abstract means there is no abstract method in it. Okay? And 100 percent abstract means all methods are. Abstract, okay, but an interface is 100% abstract. Every all methods in an interface is by default abstract. We will learn interface in interface on the next lecture. Okay, so so we got three points, right? What are the points? So if a method is an abstract method, then it cannot have an implementation, right? It cannot have a body, even it is empty. And everybody promised that you will not do that mistake. Okay. And the, what is the second one? If a class is abstract, 
if a method is abstract the class must be abstract right we got two points and third point is that even a class is abstract the any method is not required to be abstract right it can be 0 percent abstract or 100 percent abstract right so then now let us ask what is your name please yes uh, yeah. huh? yeah. how do you spell it R A M. Okay, Ram. And what is your name? Milo. Milo. Okay. Do you, you have, we both have same question? Okay. So that what do we need to do when we have, uh, have an abstract method? So that in, when we give an example, when we switch to abstract run from inheritance, right? We we got the limitation that we wanted to solve the resolve the limitation that and the inheritance through inheritance process we want to make sure that the inherited property must be used right okay so this is my engine type is is declared within vehicle package so any class then car class when it's extend or inherit the vehicle class it must implement or use okay that property that method so he said this is giving me an error right so if i hover my mouse over here it is says the car class must implement the inherited abstract method vehicle dot engine type this car class since it is extending the vehicle class that has an abstract method what is the abstract method it is showing me the vehicle class has engine type abstract method right so then it must this is the error so there are two ways there are two quick fixes for this the last one is that make the type class abstract there is one solution possible solution is that if we make the car class is a regular class right if we make the car class as an abstract class then this solve problem will be solved okay but that may create many other problems what can be at least one problem that the car if we make the car class abstract that might be ha might have in our pro program Yes. Yes. When a car, we make the, the thank you. When we make our second option, we make the car class as abstract. Then this problem is solved. But I got many other problems. What well, the problems are that since my car class is abstract, I cannot instantiate that car. I cannot create an object using an abstract class. So what we have learned, an abstract uh, class cannot be instantiated. Abstract class is barren class. It cannot give a child. You understand? Okay. So. So here, that means my second option is not a good option here. My second option is not a good option, or is not a good option here, right? So what is the other option we do have? Add unimplemented method. methods. Okay, so what is my unimplemented method I do have here? The engine type, right? Engine type because I inherited from vehicle class but I have not implemented here right I have not e used over here implemented the use over here. so if I click the second first option add unimplemented methods so you see that now <laughs> problem is solved but where <coughs> is that at the end <coughs> of this class it comes with <coughs> this auto generated method Okay, so what it says is override in C 
sharp we use override keyword like this override public override in c sharp override o is in lower case and then it is in c sharp it is not an annotation in java it is annotation okay so we use override at the rate o is in upper case but in c sharp we write like override like this way c sharp people okay remember this okay so once you override so is that actually this is empty right but still it is happy so now that i do not have any error in my this is i don't have error here but i have another over, error over here so my i cannot okay that's a good thing i cannot instantiate any abstract class right my vehicle is abstract here right so i cannot use this one i cannot use this one so now my problem is solved i will come back here later but let us see here so what is this what does this say it ensures us that the engine pro type is inherited from another class maybe from a parent class and that is being implemented over here, even it is empty okay so we got maybe four properties here right of abstraction that whenever we inherit an abstract class in the base in the child class the child class must implement all abstract methods that are defined in the within the parent class right okay that she is giving money to her brother or sister but she wants to ensure that that money will be used if you like right so that is a kind of utilization now, now whatever implementation you want to you can do it here so in your interview in your for your job interview if you go for a job interview for internship or anywhere they will not ask you to write a large program okay they will ask they will under ask in be on, want to be ensured that you understand the basic functionality okay so if you understand this so whatever implementation the engine type may be a rocket engine okay it may be a two-wheeler engine it may be a manual engine it might be a auto engine okay whatever imp it, this car is implements is own matter but even so even it is this is an empty implementation okay is empty and empty implementation is sufficient but any implementation is required right so this is called abstract class okay so so far today we discussed how to uh, make a class as an abstract class so what is the limitation of again and for an abstract class the limitation the main limitation of an abstract class is that if you make a class abstract you cannot create an object using that abstract class you understand but this is an important uh, process that ensures that that any inherited property will be inherited method will be implemented right used right anyone has any question so far you whatever i discussed maybe an hour if you understand this so far whatever i today i discussed okay you will understand at least 50 percent of object oriented programming principle basic principle and never please do not if you do not understand today's lecture please watch it again and again until you become clear okay i have entire full program in my give me two more minutes please so I have this entire program, this kind of entire program in my GitHub account. How many of you know GitHub? How many of you know GitHub? Sabir, you know? Okay, you know? You don't know? So GitHub is like a virtual drive. If you know GitHub, your life is you are one step ahead. 
No company will allow you to use flash drive or floppy drive or email to share code. Okay? They put all everything on a GitHub or, or source control system that keep track whatever you are doing from home or whatever you are doing. <laughs> so if you go to my GitHub account, github.com uh, slash csitx experts, then you will see I have CS3022 review underscore Java. This package had this is a source and all of my programs are here. So the abstract class, abstraction. So there are some examples over here. So before you come to next lecture, you can practice some of this, okay? And if you are new, if you, even if you do not know, understand how to use GitHub, then if you go to my YouTube channel, I have some uh, videos about Git and GitHub related. You can watch those or you can do a Google search. You can watch these videos to learn how to use GitHub. Or you can do Google search and get some resource and please be used to GitHub and try to use GitHub, okay? Then you will get all of my program code. And the last thing is that, okay, please do not miss next lecture. Okay, in our next lecture, we will wrap up object-oriented programming principles, okay? And you will learn at least another 20%. Anyone have any questions so far? Thank you so much and have a <coughs> good night. Going to use it, but in the in the non-abstract class, yes, right? Yes. Oh.